Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Cash Gamer and welcome back to another video of Skyrim Skill Analysis. Today we're going to be talking about Sneak. Now Sneak for me is an interesting skill. Well, kind of a weird one, the way it interacts with the game. So you have some skill like Destruction or One Handed where there's a lot of different things and types of things you can do with it. But Sneak has two purposes. One is to sneak around, well three purposes. One is to sneak and spy, another is to sneak and assassinate, and another is to sneak and pickpocket. Now, sneak, um, let's just say sneak and assassinate, well you got one handed for that. Sneak and spy, you have sneak for that. And sneak and pickpocket, you have a pickpocket skill. However, sneak can kind of complement these things. Sneak is more of, not necessarily a primary skill in my opinion, but a secondary skill used to complement your build and allow you some options. So, you know, the perk system for Sneak, all of it has to do with your character and how hard it is to detect them. Okay, so the first perk is obviously harder to detect, right? Pretty simple. Then it goes into your armor doesn't affect your Sneak or you know, jumping and walking or running doesn't affect how bad you're detected. There's another path where you can use sneak for better damage. So, sneaking with swords does more damage. Sneaking with bows does more damage. Sneaking and attacking with daggers does even more damage. This, I think, is really cool. So sneak is kind of like a meta thing. It's part of a bigger meta that you can spec out your character for. So if your character uses one-handed, then you can spec them out to do dagger damage and then spec out dual wielding to one-handed. So one-handed, right, let's just say you have a sword specialization, you pop in dual wielding, you pop in sneak in one-handed, boom, there you go. You can just slay. I think sneak fulfills a really good role of being a pro's skill. It's not a skill that noobs really would mess around with, right? Because sneak, I mean, maybe harder to detect type stuff. You know, there's the noob line there. But when it comes to assassinating, right? You know that there's like the blade of woe. You know that there's certain daggers in the game. That's when you can rock out with sneak. Is I think really as an assassin's perk, it's really, really good. One of the things I really, really don't like about Sneak is it doesn't involve poisons. And it doesn't have a buff to where if your item's enchanted, it adds to the Sneak damage. I wish that when you had Sneak, you could perk it out to where, like, something to where, like, your item's enchantment gets a buff to it. I don't care if it's 15 or 2. Just, I wish that... There was something there to where your enchantment is, it just does like 15 damage. I had this problem actually in Oblivion the other day. I was using Umbra and Sufferthorn. Sufferthorn gets most of its damage from enchanting, so I could sneak up to something and stab them with it and do about half, half their health. If I snuck up to something with Umbra, which is all normal damage, it would kill it. And so I wish that Sneak, and Skyrim is pretty much the same way, I wish that Sneak added like something to where enchantments are effective. I wish that it added a poisons thing. I really don't like that alchemy, um, I, well I'm fine with alchemy, you know, having potency with poisons. I wish sneak did the same thing. I wish sneak could make poisons more potent. Because then, you know, if you're sneaking around, I don't, you're not gonna think about alchemy. So then it kind of makes this unnecessary grind to where you're sneaking around, you want poisons, go make them in the alchemy bench. Get better at making poisons. I wish that there was some perks that allowed you to make poisons more effective as well. So I think sneak, it's a good meta skill. It's very basic, very simple. And I, I wish it was a little bit more complex. I wish that you could spec out a bit more into assassination stuff. Maybe you could spec out with in a different weapon. You know, it just doesn't have to be knives. Maybe fists. You had a chance to insta-kill if you used your fists or something. Just really 
it definitely tailors to the sword fighter, and I think it almost limits you as an assassin to using daggers. So, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I'm, I'm a 50-50 on Sneak. I like it as a pro player and as a noob, but there's a very specific use for Sneak that sometimes makes it so you just don't want to use it. So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam It post of whatever I decide to make.